All right, hi everyone. I'm gonna give this a go. It's late in the afternoon. The rain clouds have come over. I don't have a whole lot of natural light in here today, but I'm gonna give this a go because I really wanna do it. This one is Nautilus by Ina Sonnenmoser. Um, nobody else has done this one yet. It's, uh, since we're doing under the sea or under the ocean or whatever it is as our monthly theme, thought this would be good. It's, it's a little confusing because it actually does have some words on the, uh, on the step out, which most of the time you don't have to have. But the first set of things we're going to do is we're going to make a spiral. Make sure we have plenty of room here. Next thing we're going to do is on the inside of the spiral, we're going to make some crescent shapes all the way around till we get to the middle. Okay. And then we are just going to go zig zag, zig zag. Now she says, add the lines in step three where they feel right. It's nearly impossible to get exactly the right loops where the lines should end. Working zigzag only works if you are lucky. So like in her sample, she's able to go zigzag, zigzag for a little while, but then this one doesn't. So that one's kind of like by itself. See that? So she zigzags for a little bit and then has to add an extra one in a couple of places. So just, we're just going to put the lines where it feels right to, to us. I'm going to do it on a black piece of paper and try it with the white pen and see what happens. I have only done this one one other time and it was a very long time ago and I did not do it for a video. So I'm just going to give this a go. Um, I'm going to turn on my light so you guys can see as best as possible. Take my pencil and give myself a nice, it's just going to be a big, it's going to be big and around like that. Now, can you see that? See, I've drawn my my spiral. I don't like this end of it. I think it's too tight. So I think I'm actually going to turn this over and I'm going to start from the middle and work my way out instead. I like that curve better. I don't, it's a little bit close to here. I'm just going to adjust that. I think I want it a little less out there and more, more here. So I'm just going to erase that. For the most part on the black paper, it's just going to disappear anyways. Especially once I've put my white in there. But now I'll see I've got mostly that's gone. That's a much more smooth um, spiral. So uh, I guess now I know for me and my personal style, uh, it works better to go from the inside to the out than from the outside to the in. Good to know. All right, so we want to Do the inner part of this, and I think I'm going to actually start uh, on the inside and work my way out because of the gel pen. And I need to go the the the. the. Oops! Didn't get the my pen started. You know these gel pens. You got to get them started. Okay.
but I don't want to make it so that I stick my hand in it so I'm going to start from the middle and work my way out and I'm just following that spiral I drew with the pencil if I can see it it's a little tough I really don't have a whole lot of natural daylight coming through my window like I said it's getting a little late I don't usually draw this late in the day it's sun is going down and the sky is getting dark but I really want to finish this so I'm just going to muscle through probably can't see the pencil line but you can see where I'm going with my spiral so and I'm making them a little bit bigger as I go out you'll notice that I think that's the point here it's a little awkward I'm trying really hard not to stick my finger in my gel pen get my head in just the right place I can see my pencil line but it's awkward almost there there we go last one okay so there's my spiral and then it has us going do we zigzag toward the middle or from the middle out I don't know okay well, it has us going this way, so we're going to go like that. That feels right. I see what she means. the zigzag needing to kind of feel right I feel like I've gone off again that needs to go more like that so it has an extra in there Feels like it needs to go there. And that feels like it needs to go there.
So I'm just going wherever it feels like the curve is, is a good curve. Like I'm running at a curve there. So I feel like it needs to go like that. like I've run out of curve again. I see what she means about the back and forth and the curve. It kind of feels like it needs to go there. we go. That's pretty much it. Right there. Um, then I think I'm going to go ahead and coming from Kind of like the shading. I just want to highlight that curve by just adding some extra lines. to be more you make it extra
a little bit longer, a little bit more of a curve. That's better. I'm I'm happier with that. What do you guys think? I think that's good. All right. Now it's just too late late to do anything else. We're going to just be done with this. I need to get the name. It was Nautilus. Why my phone keeps turning off and getting completely not in the right place. I don't know. Pattern focus. N A U. And now I have to decide how it's going to live. It's going to live this way. I think it is. And I think it's going to live with some. It's coming out. Yes. N A U. T I L. All right, there we go. She's done. That wasn't very difficult. And it really, I like it on the black paper. That really stands out. I'm happy with that. All right, you guys have a great day. Have a great rest of your weekend. I will be back on Monday. And I have already decided we're going to do Nimroot. Ninroot. Ninroot. And then periwinkle and then primp for next week. Um, so you guys have a really awesome day. Go out and do something nice for someone today. Make the world a better place. One person at a time. One smile at a time. And I will see you later. Bye-bye.